so before start the actual project explanation i request you please subscribe my channel so you can see on the screen up till now i have uploaded more than 66 video on raspberry pi the raspberry pi with iot that is all this video then also iot with arduino all this video are 26 and recently we started the new series on the pick my controller before that i also cover the project on the python web application so if you want to learn python iot raspberry pi arduino pick from the scratch and from uh, freely then please subscribe my channel please support me and the most important part is whatever the code i have explained whatever the project i have created on this youtube channel all these projects are freely available you no need to pay anything for this project so just if only point is you should watch complete video and you should follow my process so if you want to learn something from the scratch and freely then support me and please subscribe my channel and please click on like button hello friend in today's session we will learn how we can design and develop a smart attendance system project by using face recognition technique so you can see on the screen the continuously my face is recognized also my name is displayer based on my face so if any other person come also there then it will detect other person face and it will give their attendance and to store the attendance we will use the excel file this is attendance excel file so in the excel file whatever the our attendance data that will be stored here and you can easily identify that detail by opening this file so i will show you what exactly happen after let's say first person attendance taken and second person attendance taken so i will close this program now because my attendance is taken so i will go here and then i will open this excel sheet So in this excel sheet you can see Marathi is the uh, lecturer name and you can see Rahul uh, and their present and on which date. So exactly which date, which lecture and it is present or absent. So if the name is present, so name if the name is there in this excel sheet that means that person is present on, on that date and time. If the name is not there that means that person is absent. Now I will show you how to run this project with the another person. Now we will see how to run this, pro uh, now we will see the demonstration of this project. So you can see I open this attendance system excel. So here currently you can see there is no lecturer name is available. So temporary lecturer name is available and uh, another name is not available. So this is our starting point. So whenever you get this project from my side, delete whatever the lecture name here and only there should be the temp lecturer name should be available this time other lecturer name you can delete at your end so this program i will give you at the end of this video so after that you have to go to the video this face recognition code video this complete all this file i will provide you in the google drive link the google drive link you in the description uh, then after that you have to open that file so how to open the file i will show you so first go to the python python 3.9 3.8 or 3.7 you can use in your laptop then go to the file then click on this open button so once you click on this open button go to that downloaded folder so let's assume uh, this is your downloaded folder and here you will get this file face, face recognition code file so open that file so once you open that file i will tell you uh, this setting later but first check how to run this project so just go to the run and run module so wait for some two to three minutes so it will ask the lecturer name first now it is asking the lecturer name so i will give the lecture name as a english so this is my lecture name and press enter so once you press enter then camera start recognizing your image so you can see rahul and attendance taken so rahul attendance taken here and next student it is it is asking for the next student so now next person will be sit in front of camera and detect his name also attendance so i will call the next person to show you the demonstration So you can see once the next person also present there then he, uh, her name also display here and attendance taken. So after two person name uh, as my database two person is there only. So I will close this program. Stop this program now. So once I stop this program because two attendance taken as per my database 
then I will open this attendance Excel sheet. Now after, after that you can see here English name is there and Rahul presents Neha present. So in this way you can uh, run your project. Now I will tell you some basic setting about this project so that you can run this project at your end. Okay now, uh, for, uh, now we will see some basic settings to start this project at your end. First of all you require the python software in, in your end. At my end I am using python 3.9.6. But if you are facing some error for python 3.9, 3.9.6 then you can use the python 3.8 or python 3.7 that also ok for you. Then after that uh, next important part you require my files. Uh, so my files I already told you you will find all this code file this smart attendance system file all this code file in google drive link that google drive link you in the description. Then after that you can see once you open the program you will find some cv2 library, numpy library, os library, uh, some xlt library, workbook library. So how to install that library, face recognition library. So how to install face recognition cv2 and numpy that already uh, explained in my previous video, face recognition video. I will give you that video link in the description. So if you don't have the face recognition cv2 and numpy library in your, in your laptop, so how to install that library, I already explained in my this video. Protea simulation smart door lock system video. So in that video I use the same uh, program little bit uh, same program but the related library all are same numpy face recognition and uh, cv2. So how to install that library if you don't have please watch that video this video link I will given in the description or else you can just search on the internet you will find the menu solution how to install this library. Then after that you require this library this library this library. So how to install that library I just save the screenshot in my uh, this folder itself that I share with you. So you can see there are some uh, face recognition not found, index error. So like this there are some errors are there like this also. Like this also. For example this is uh, XLT library not found. So if you if you face this error then you can just open your CMD from here. So command prompt from here. And after that you can type py3 install whatever the library. So same way what if you face any error in any library you can just open a cmd you can see xlrd this is new library. Here is the error xld not found. So what I did I just open the command prompt and type py3 install that library name that's it only. So whenever you find any error in any library the simple solution is open command prompt and just py3 install that library name for example here also you can see xuts something library is there. So if this library not found then py3 install that library name. So this is the simple solution. So just open the command prompt here from here just open the command prompt and just type py3 py3 install and that library name whatever the library you did not found. So this is the sim simple and easy solution if you find that library error. Another error you will find uh, let us say if your face is not properly available in your, in your image then this index error you will get. So to avoid that error the face should be very clear you can see as per my database my face is very clear. So you can see here. So my face is very clear here also another person face is very clear so you can see. So make sure your face should be very clear your light condition should be very clear otherwise you will get index out of uh, range error. So these are some basic settings. Now another setting we will see. Now the next point is uh, uh, we have to load this uh, library uh, like your uh, what we can send database. So how to capture the image I will just show you. So first of all I will delete my current image you can see I will delete from here. So there is no Rahul image here. So what you can do you have to first you should first go to this program capture image from camera. So again open the python from here just go to the file open then after that capture image from camera open this one. So once you open this one just go to run and run model. So wait for some second it will ask the person name. Now you can see it is asking the person name. So I will give my name Rahul. So whatever the name you will give that name will be present in the image. So press enter. So once you give Rahul press enter then at the bottom you will see the 
image is captured so if this image is not clear just click on this cross button again new image is captured again click on cross button adjust yourself so that it will detect the face properly so you can see now it is detecting my face properly i will adjust my camera again now you can see it is the yeah now it is detecting my face properly now i will close this program by clicking this shell button so close this program click on ok so once you click on ok now once you close this uh, window then you will find your uh, images here so this is one database of one person you can see rahul the name is coming rahul uh, you can verify the name rahul image now after you get the for first person image and first person name then open this code which one face recognition code and in that you can see current folder whatever the name you have given just type that person name here like this rahul rahul.png so this is nothing but your image name so you can see this is rahul right click here property so you will get rahul.png so this is the first person image so i have given the first person likewise you can take the image from the second person from that code this code capture image from the camera again provide the another name of that another person then you will get the second image and in the second image you will provide the second image name here like this easy very easy then after that the first person name person name one i will give rahul here second person name you can give whatever your person name here sneha so here you have to change and here you have to change as per your person database that's it only then after that cv2 video capture here i am giving one because i am using the usb camera if you are using the laptop camera then you can give here zero now i am using the usb camera so that i am i am using one here so that's it only same here in the capture image if you are using the usb camera then uh, if you are using the laptop camera then you can give zero here if you are using the usb camera then you one year i am using the usb camera so that's one year so these are some basic setting so after that your database is ready with rahul sneha rahul sneha this is rahul image this is sneha image rahul name sneha sneha name so this is two person then after that attendant excel so just open this attendance excel from here so once you open attendance excel from here delete whatever the previous attendance so like this uh, delete this so english i am deleting so this is and then write enter and save close and save so this attendance again close without any subject name so these are some basic settings so i will just check if i miss anything so first you have to click the image from the uh, code then you will get two image as per your three image two image whatever the image you want then as per that you can open this you can give, uh, you can give as much as image here with as much as name and then you can change the person name here with if you want to add the new person also you can copy this code now let's assume that uh, you want to add the person 3 so what you can do just copy this line image to first year give here and let's say here you can give image 3 so third person so same from the camera you will capture one image and that image name you will give here let's say let's assume i capture the image and give one the name person 3 so like this you can give any name here as per your image that we already taken from this two image so let third person we click the image and this third person name is here then after that you have to copy this code from year to year for for third person paste here then after that you can give the third person name like person 3 i am just giving temporary then after that person 3 here you can change person 3 here you can change person 3 here you can change image 3 here you can change image 3 so wherever image 2 i just change person 3 and then after that here you can give comma and then after that you can add the person 3 encoding like this and then after that here you again give the comma here and here you can give again person 3 simple in this way you can add as much as much as person whatever you want from this code so like this you can give any person i just deleting the extra person from my code i don't want that person 
okay so in this way you can add your database add the images whatever you want add the person add the person name like this so in this way you can do your basic setting now once you do the basic setting you just have to run this code so how to run this code just go to the run and click on run module so once you click on run module wait for some second it will ask the lecturer name and then after that i already explain you in demonstration video like how to add the new person then how to check the data how to check the attendance system everything as per that demonstration so i hope i hope you understand this complete video the programming explanation i will not explain in the current video because i just want to take because i just want to take the feedback from your end whether this program working at your end or not if the program working at your end then you can tell me in the comment box then i will explain the face recognition code detail in detail with uh, another with in a, another video so i am waiting for your feedback whether this code is working or not at your end and you will successfully find your attendance in this attendance excel sheet so yeah if you face any error then you can contact me in comment box or through the whatsapp and uh, i will definitely solve your issue thanks for watching this video i hope you understand the steps and how to install this project at your end if you like my content then please click on like button and please subscribe my channel thanks for supporting